we need to absolutely ensure that as we, if we want to transition back to a steady state with the virus, if we want to reach a point of disease control, we need to put in place the public health architecture. We need a massive investment in our capacity to do surveillance, contact tracing, isolation, and quarantine. We need very good information systems. We need a highly educated, engaged, and empowered communities around the world who understand what to do if they're sick, where to go, have access to a doctor, to a nurse, to testing, to isolation, to quarantine. If we, and at the same time, we strengthen our healthcare system to deal with those who are very sick. Um, and all the while developing new therapies and vaccines to solve this problem uh, once and for all. If we want to reach that, that situation where we can live with this virus uh, and have our economies back on track, we must make those other investments. As we do that, there will always be the chance. As we lift, uh, and as governments lift shutdowns, lockdowns, as people go back to school, we have to have in place to protect almost the safety nets, the other things in the system that can trigger and maybe in, 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 and, and may happen. Uh, we may have to modulate that. We may have to decide which are the measures we can put back in place if necessary to create more physical distance. Uh, and we don't want to end up in a cycle of uh, lockdown followed by release, followed by another lockdown, followed by release. That, that's not the way forward. And the way to avoid that is we need a transit strategy, transition strategy that gets us back into more control of the virus. We need to get ahead of the virus. And then if we are in control, we can protect our economies. But if we lurch from lockdown to poor control and back to lockdown and back to poor control, that is not what anybody needs right now. 